So IBM Tivoli is a software as a surface monitoring solution, um, monitoring different metrics on servers, CPU, memory, network, um, disk, and I.O. And the way um, it's meant to be is it can predictively um, analyze like usage of a machine, allow you to upgrade machines dynamically, also report problems, say a machine's got a locked up hard drive, you can see that and then go in and reset the machine without actually um, having to go in and screw up other things. Um, it's not meant to replace a remote assistance module, though. It's more for monitoring, not for a response. So you still would have to um, go in and respond to a machine's issues, but it would alert you sooner, faster, and allow you then to um, um, have less downtime. Okay? Also with that being predictably um, respond to downtime. So if you've got like a disk that looks like it's having I.O. errors, you might be able to go in and schedule a downtime for it instead of having an emergency downtime. So um, we deployed it on Windows 7 and Red Hat Linux, which is widely deployed across campus. Um, you can, it's actually licensed to deploy across any Windows operating system and several other classes of Linux, So as well as a host of other applications and operating systems. Um, we mainly were focusing more on the monitoring aspects. There's also reporting and analyzation metrics. We didn't look a lot at that, though. So, um, this machine here, we're monitoring one of our Linux boxes, so you can see a bunch of disk usage. Um, this one here, we're looking at a Windows box completely, CPU, memory, disk usage, um, virtual memory and stuff. They'll also do um, network bandwidth, um, process management, which is big with Windows because you have a lot of back-end Windows processes. One of them gets stopped. It'll lock up a lot of dependencies.